We are Peter and Sophie. Since five years, we live in a simple cabin up north. Before, we lived two years in Mexico and one year on the road. We also have a little son now. Welcome under the pines. Hello. Winter is here and lots of snow, but inside our little cabin, it's super cozy. And today we want to tell you a story about our last adventure. Just a few weeks ago, we headed north. The weather was something between the end of summer and the beginning of autumn. We packed the jeep and we went up north, packed the tent, little cattle and dogs. And yeah, off we went. It was a beaten bush road. Yeah. Just Axle breaking potholes and muddy puddles and creeks that we had to cross. Bumpy road where you get a flat tire. We maybe did. Maybe. <laughs> we are cloudberry picking in the middle of nowhere. And it's beautiful. And little Kato is sleeping. Cloudberries grow in swampy areas, and this day we really get soaked. one berry at one spot so you really have to to look for them but when you find them it's like a little treasure and after all that bushwhacking at one point I was super sweaty and I just had to go skinny dipping into the into the cold swampy lake. Once you left that green moss and whatnot, it was just swamp. And she just like and disappeared I in the cold water. It was so cold. <laughs> but on the second try, it, it worked out. Like she. Yeah, I was super careful. Yeah. <laughs> And then the rain got worse and overnight it just kept raining. The next morning we had a flat tire and everybody else was still cuddled under layers of blanket in the tent. And I was out there crawling through the mud, changing the freaking tire. <laughs> I didn't know this. When we had breakfast, you told me about the flat tire. So we had to turn around, but three days later, we were back with two new tires and ready to go <laughs> further. And now the real adventure begins. The cable ferry brought us to the other side of the river. And it's a raging wild big river. 
that ferry stops operating around the middle of September because ice starts floating down the river. And it was already end of August. So if we don't make it back here in time, we knew we would be seriously stuck. The wild treated us well and we kept going through the water and over bridges. Often heavy rain kept beating down on us. But after every rain, we had some beautiful colors in the sky and strong rainbows and yeah. it was pretty stunning. <laughs> every five minutes it was raining heavily, then it was the, the sun sh was shining for a few minutes and then and a then rainbow those appeared rainbows and, and then it rained really again. It was beautiful. Was, yeah. Oh. Every night we slept in our little blue tent. And every day we explored the land around us. The landscape was beautiful and everybody enjoyed the landscape, even little Cato. He really liked it out there. He slept well and he was just smiling all the time and peeing. Probably. Talking. Probbling. <laughs> 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 And then I went running, because I love running. It's amazing to go running in, in such a beautiful landscape. One day, while the clouds were raging in the mountains, we packed little Kato and a bag of a few snacks to go hiking. For the first part, it was just bushwhacking. Then we found this old caribou trail. And we followed a caribou trail. We didn't expect to, to see caribous. Then suddenly on the top there were caribous. three caribou bulls <laughs> looking at us. And, and then they ran away. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't want to picnic with us. <laughs> just 
beautiful up there. The view was stunning and beautiful and yeah. endless mountains and clouds and until the horizon nothing. No signs of civilization. At one point we decided to go back to a warming fire and a hot steaming soup. And a good night's sleep in our wet tent. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds cool. Hmm? No it was. And one day we found super old cars, like abandoned cars, in the middle of the bush. And then we played Bonnie and Clyde. Sophie did. No! <laughs> <laughs> she did it too. Sophie tried to fix one of them, but... Didn't work. And one day, with now empty jerry cans and only more wilderness ahead, it was time to turn around. I think like the last 100 kilometers before we made it to the ferry, I was really worried that we would just end up stranded. When we arrived at the ferry, it was empty. Yeah, pretty much. But we made it to the gas station. With our last drop of fuel. <laughs> That was a good feeling. Yeah. <laughs> and a few days later we made it back to our cabin. Thanks for watching and we hope you like our video. And if so, give us a thumbs up. And consider subscribing. That would be amazing. And thank you so much for your lovely comments and for your support. That really means a lot to us. Yes, it does. Thank you so much. So much. See you soon. Mwah. Bye.